work. But we, hey, listen, we got to complete it though with the C R Y E R. Oh, yeah. I'm here, man. I'm here. They hate when you elevate They stacking up losses, I'm handing them out, yeah, I had to go delegate They feel like I'm floating, I'm lost in the moment, I swear I could levitate They never believed that I would really fly, I had to go demonstrate I What's good, YouTube? Hey, my red guy was the beach, man Yo, listen, it's like 199 degrees Well, we'll take 99 degrees off It's like 100 and something degrees out here, man I just pulled up Nothing else better to do today, so I'm gonna go to the beach. Check it out. Look, I got my uh, my sore foot healing. Y'all see them scabs? It's healing. So I'm gonna go down these stairs, man. I pulled up by myself solo today. I didn't have anything else better to do today. Sit at the house. It's Sunday. I said, well, dang. Should I do a cooking video or should I just go to the dang on beach? Look at this, man. It's so many people out here. Look at this. People up under the bridge trying to get away from the sun. What's the purpose of coming to the beach to get away from the sun if you're going to hide? The purpose of coming to the beach is coming to the beach. I love it out here, man. I ain't going to lie. I don't get to come out here the way that I would like to. Cause I'm always coming out here by my dang on self. But I love it. Ooh, look at these birds, man. Look at these birds. Look at all that chicken. Oh gosh, you guys can't really see it, can you? There we go. Let me get closer. I'm about to zoom in. Oh goodness. Hey, come here, bird. You ain't even gotta bring your own meat when you come down here, man. Just grab one of these birds and throw him on the grill. It's beautiful, man. That's the little park I'll be going to up there, a little amusement park. Even though I don't be getting on anything, that's where I'll be coming from time to time. I have got on some of the rides, but I'm scared, man. I don't like playing with my life like that. I'll be seeing like, I'll be seeing like a lot of stuff like on news and stuff where some of these amusement parks, they rise malfunction and somebody end up losing their life or they end up losing like a limb, they arm or leg or something. So I'd rather just stay on the ground. I don't even like flying. That's why I drive a lot, because I, I do not like heights. I am scared as hell of heights. That's why I don't like to fly. I would rather drive long distance, long distance than to fly long distance. But there are some places that you can't really fly to. But anyway, I'll show you guys what up here. Cut me a little chicken. Get over here. Show you guys what it's looking like out here. Oh, shoot. Look at all these birds, man. Holy cow. Oh, my God. They out today. They is out today. Oh, shoot. Go out here by the water. I'm going to walk my way to the water. I got slides on, but I don't have any socks. I took my socks off when I was in the truck. I was going to say, I thought it was a guy out here fishing. Oh, that feels so good. It's the first time I stepped in the pool or ocean since my foot got messed up. Oh, yeah. That shit looked dirty, don't it? The water looked really nasty and brown. You guys can't really see what I see, but right here, the water looks extremely nasty, like dirty brown coffee water. But if you look farther out, which you guys probably can't see, the water actually gets green farther out there. So, what's up, man? I ain't gonna lie. I always wanted to live close to the ocean. I said, if I ever came into some real paper, I mean, I mean some, oh shoot, I lost my slide, bro, get back. Oh, I lost another one. Uh-oh, I better get it before the waves take it. Get back here. Oh, shoot, I lost another one, man. What's going on here? Man. I said if I ever came into some real paint, some real paint, I'm getting me a beach house, man. I'm 
Oh shoot, I lost my slide again. What the hell's going on? Guys, why am I losing my slides? I don't understand. I think I gotta tighten the strap up. Hold on, let me get back to land. I don't think my straps like salt water. We're gonna try to find some shells today, man. I'm gonna try to find some shells. Let's see if I can tighten these bad boys up. I don't know why my feet started sliding out of them as if like the salt makes the straps come off. Nope, that's not what happened. But the sand is real, real, it's like really fine. Anyway, if I ever come across a real one, I'll give me a beach house because I always love the beach. I always love the ocean. Now, I don't want to live directly next to the water. There's like some like, tsunamis and stuff like that. But, it might be a little windy so i hope you guys can still hear me look how far out there people are man that's the only thing that scares me i would actually be scared to go out that far because of sharks i don't know what they do or what type of system that they have in place for like when sharks pull up but i would be scared as heck man like because you can't see them look how murky the water is you can't see them at all, so I'm not for sure what type of system that they use to alert people. Oh my God, guys, it is so freaking windy out here. I hope you guys are able to hear me. I'm thinking about walking out on that pier right there. I don't, it's, it's weird because on a day like this, you would think this thing is full of people. A lot of people go fishing off this rock right here, but there's nobody on it. So I'm gonna see why. I'm actually gonna walk out there a little ways. I don't know how far I'm gonna walk, cause the closer I get to the water, the less that you guys will be able to hear me. I don't know what that red thing stands for. Maybe that red thing stands for high wave tide or something. I'm not for sure. We're going to see. I mean, it's weird. Nobody's up here at all. I don't think it's a high wave tide because if it was, the rocks would be wet. So I'm going to walk out anyway. See how far I can go on this thing. Look. Or if you make one bad slip and fall, your ankle get caught, it's over with. You're out of there, bro. They got these little holes right here to hold your little fishing poles. I'm assuming that's what they're for. But I came out here one day, me and my son, and there was this guy who had caught a shark out here. That was the first time I had seen a shark like get pulled out of the ocean in real life. This is the red thing I was telling you guys about. I don't know if they had that up for a particular reason today, but maybe not. Maybe it's something that's always there. I hope you guys can still hear me, but I'm gonna go out here and see if I can make it to the middle of the ocean. I'm just kidding. Woo, look down there. Man, you imagine how many ain't man, look at all the shells down there. Where's that boo-boo? Bro, that's boo-boo. That ain't no shells. You know how many people that broke their ankles out here or twisted their ankles on these rocks, man? It's crazy. It's beautiful, though. I think maybe nobody's out here because it's like a fishing pier. And a lot of people won't come out here because it's so hot. Hey, it's hot out here today, Bob. Oh, shoot, I'm almost to the end, guys. So far, I haven't hurt myself or, woo, look at that hole right there. That is a long fall, bro. Mm. Even this far out, you, you still can't see like the green water I was telling y'all about. We made it. We made it to the middle of the ocean. Now that, I'm definitely not going down there. See how them rocks is? See all that green stuff, guys? You step on that stuff, it's extremely slippery. You're going in the water. There's no doubt about it. The water is really rough, though. I made it to the middle of the ocean. Hey, I'm here, guys. Let's go. I'm supposed to be going to like look for some little uh, seashells. Uh-oh, here come a guy. Oh, he's a fisherman. I thought he's wearing a lifeguard, guys, telling me, hey, don't be out here. It's beautiful, man. There's another pier over there, like the one that I'm standing on right now. 
you guys can see there's a lot more people out there. I'm gonna try to zoom this in. There's a lot more people over there on that little fishing pier than it is on this fishing pier. Okay, oh, there we go. There we go, see that? I think they might be out there fishing, so. There is no way I would be going. Oh my God, look how far those people is out there in the water. Look, that's the land way over there, guys. Look how far, oh my God. See, man, I would be scared to be out that far. There is no freaking way. I'm so scared of sharks, man. It's not even funny. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. I'm about to get off this rock, man, and walk back to the planet. I mean, walk back to land. I said the planet. I'm gonna walk back to land, man. Uh, but as you guys see, man, it's really beautiful out here. It's windy. Everybody out here really was doing their own thing. The only thing that I noticed this time versus last time I was here, you don't smell no barbecue. Food. Like people don't have any grills out here making barbecue ribs and hot dogs and stuff. But you don't smell that today. This heat, man. This, this heat, bro. This heat is nothing to freaking play with, man. Anyway. Whew. I've been here maybe 25 minutes. I got to go back to the truck and cool off, man. Look at the sweat coming off of me. And people be sending me messages and DMs talking about, Mr. Cryer, we want a fishing vlog. We want a fishing video. Man, please. You mess around and have heat stroke out here trying to do a fishing video. This is not the time of year. Like, I seen one guy out there fishing on a pier. He actually just pulled up, and it's like late evening time. So... I kind of answered my own question earlier. This is why many people not out here on the piers fishing. Like there's people at the beach area that's literally sitting under the bridge. Like, you know that's bad. When you come to the ocean, to the beach, and your only option is to sit up under the bridge where all the shade is at. To me, and I'm not saying for everybody else, I'm just saying for me, that almost defeats the whole entire purpose of even coming to the beach right to sit up under the bridge but everybody trying to be protected from the sun i gotta find my truck guys and turn the air on and cool off hey guys i finally made it back to my truck it is freaking hot and besides that as i was walking along the beach area i thought about the sweat pouring down my face and i said i left my freaking sweat towel in my truck so i came back to the truck to get me like a little cool off period real quick for like five minutes and then get me a drink of water because it is really hot out here um there's a few more things that i'm gonna show you guys while i'm here but i decided um i drove a whole hour up here so i wanted to at least bring you guys some type of footage while i was up here in the galveston area but i'm not going to stay here too much longer guys because the weather is extremely bad right now my inside my truck because the air is on it says that it's 98 degrees but that's inside oh no it's outside the truck says that it's 98 degrees so i think that it's cooler since i'm closer to the water but i'm gonna walk back over this way but i'm not gonna stay here much longer because it is blazing and besides i gotta go home and get dinner started for the day um but i'm gonna get out get ready to get out of here so i can finish this video off for you guys so i'm gonna see y'all in a minute hey y'all remember last year it was last summer but it wasn't hot like this i have wrong my two-year-old son dion up here and I took him on this little duck boat and we rode all around Galveston Beach. It was actually pretty cool, man. This is the little duck boat right here that we had went on a while back. And it was pretty awesome, too. Dion, he really enjoyed it. So, yeah, I think we end up, it was like 40 or 50 bucks for like both of us. It was well worth it, too, man. We had a good time. The only scary part was when that thing had went into the water. Anyway. I'm finna go down here and go up under the bridge, man. Cause this seems like there's some motion down here. Oh my God, look at that shark over there. So I can zoom in for you guys. Look at that shark over there hanging out the building. Imagine, imagine a shark being that big in real life. Now I know sharks is big, but I think whales is probably the size of that thing right there. But it's pretty scary things is out here in the ocean there's a store down there it's called mudox i'm gonna zoom in for this too i've been I, I actually took you guys into this store several times with me they have a lot of nice stuff like seashells and stuff that actually came out of the ocean um that's really nice to go see and you can tell that they're real because the way that they smell you can actually smell the ocean and so we're going down another set of stairs guys I said something about the bridge earlier, so I may actually go under the bridge just to see. 
Oh, they got the lifeguard team driving, which is really good to see that. It's always good to come to the beach and see the lifeguards riding around in their little vehicles. Just like on that old show we used to watch back in the day called Baywatch. Now, this place right here is really awesome, guys. I've actually, this is part of the amusement park. Uh, you got Kublov centers up there. Even when it's not hot, like you got like a lot of different restaurants up there. As you guys can imagine, it's mostly seafood. How do we know that? Because you have a lot of seafood restaurants around the beach area. So this is a really, really nice little attraction for the beach. And again, there's the park over there. I'm going to zoom in. You guys can see that. It's the park area. I know a lot of people have not been out here to Galveston Beach, man. But if you guys do come out here, like come at the right time of the year. Like right now, I'm not going to say that this is a bad time of the year to come to the beach. But with the heat, the way that it is, it makes it more depressing but i don't want to keep saying the heat because it makes it like almost like a turn off to come to the beach you're supposed to come to the beach when it's really hot oh it's getting dark now look i'm gonna go up under the bridge guys see what i can see people got their coolers man the only thing about bringing a bunch of stuff to the beach with you is because you're never gonna get a parking space that's real close to the beach you're gonna always have a long walk from your car to the beach and then you got coolers you got kids you got umbrellas and stuff with you but it's a lot man okay i smell barbecue now earlier i didn't smell it i definitely smell meat now everybody's laid out doing their thing you know what i'm saying look this sign right here says no swimming now i don't understand this right here this sign right here it says no swimming why does it say no swimming? Oh, there's an arrow pointed. But the only thing I see is the bridge, up under the bridge. Maybe they mean no swimming under the bridge, which is impossible because there's no water under the bridge. Who knows, man? But anyway, it's a beautiful place to be right now, man. You want to unwind, and I don't even wear white beaters in public, but like, because I'm, I'm still kind of insecure over my shape. I'm not built the way that I used to be built way back in the day years ago y'all know what i'm talking about back in the 50s and 40s i'm just kidding sort of kidding anyway take y'all around with me oh shoot. It's lit out here too man i don't know if i'm gonna find any seashells up under the bridge but find a whole lot more stuff other than seashells <laughs> i'm just kidding uh-oh i dropped my towel get your butt over here get over here i need you towel again i'm not going to stay here much longer guys i want to just kind of like walk around for a little bit unwind okay, that's what under the bridge looks like pretty scary huh pretty scary I bet the birds and the bats love this bridge thing, though. They can hide from everybody. Look how scary that looks, man. That looks scary. Look at where the concrete fell off the uh, rebar on that pole right there. That's definitely scary, man. Each life at its finest. Somebody wrote something in the dirt. D Y C. That's probably somebody initials. They need to change that Y to an A. D A C. Damien Antoine Fryer. It's the light right here. Oh my God! I know he's got to be hot, man. Oh shoot. Oh, shoot. I ain't talking about nobody but my man. Got a cocoa one. He got a storm, long sleeve shirt on. Oh, that's too many clothes on the damn beach. Oh, shoot. We got lover's squirrel, guys. We got the heart. Somebody, oh, somebody's loving themselves. Somebody's loving themselves. I think I'm finna get ready to draw myself, man. I'm finna just draw myself. 
because Damien was here. Get your butt over here. So we're going to, we about to draw, man. Everybody else drawing. So we're going to make a D. Ah, yes, sir. A. M. D. A. M. I. Gonna make a weird looking O like I'd have a square. O. N. Got Damien. Yes, sir. Now I'm marked, but we, hey, listen, we got to complete it though with the C R Y E R. C R Y. Oh, why, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. E. All right. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. I'm here, man. I'm here. Damien Cryer was here at the freaking beach. And better not nobody erase it either. I'm not playing, man. I'm not playing. I went out to the middle of the ocean today, sort of. And my name was tattooed. See, that's my tattoo guy. This is my ocean tattoo. Damien Cryer. Oh, you know what? I got to complete it. I got to put some more. Damien Cryer was W A S here. Uh, H E R. E. That's it, baby. Y'all got it? Y'all feel me? Anybody try to lie and say I wasn't here? This is my alibi. If anything happened and some weird stuff jump off, they can't say Damien Cryer was not here on July 16th, Sunday, July 16th, 2023. And I accidentally took my E over somebody's heart that they drew right here in the sand. So I was here, guys. Y'all my witness. Anything weird happened, it wasn't me. I was here at the beach. Yeah, feel me? But that's it. I don't know how long that's gonna actually stay there. That's right. That's right. I was off in this thing, man. I was in this thing, man. Woo, man. I ain't staying here much longer, guys. It is freaking blazing out here, man. I think that's gonna be it for me, man. I got some I got some pork chops at home. I think some pork chops and what you call that stuff in the box? Stuffing. I got some pork chops and some stuffing mix at home. I'm gonna make this hour drive back to H-Town and uh make me some pork chops, some stuffing, some corn on a motherfucking cob, and I'm gonna go home and slam, man. Oh my God. <laughs> What's up, boss? All I'm gonna say is this right here, man. It feels good to be amongst the people who's free and it's not locked up. Because out here, you see it all, man. You see it all. But anyway, guys, on to some other things. While I see how you're struggling with that cooler, man. That's what I'm talking about. He's struggling with that bad boy. That's why I don't be wanting to carry stuff with me. Well, guys, I just found my truck, man. Thank God. Now, I was able to get a close parking spot. Oh, by the way, just so you guys know, if you do come down here to the Galveston Beach area, like, the parking down here is insane. Don't get, do not get caught parking on the street without paying. So, they have these little parking lots that you can pull up at. And it's like $10 for 24 hours. So, don't be cheap. Pay that little $10 for that 24 hours. So, you don't, you know what I'm saying, get ran up. I recently got a ticket down here in Texas, bro. Uh, from, and just to share, like, I know I said I will never be talking about my personal life on social media. But this part, I'm going to tell you guys, it's not extremely personal. Uh, but I got pulled over like two or three weeks ago. And I had a bunch of unpaid tolls. And so when a lady pulled me over, 
I'm like, I wasn't speeding. I didn't break any laws or anything like that. But I went through this toll and my license plate had pinged on her computer or whatever as someone who had excessive toll amounts. So I just recently had to pay like $2,600 in unpaid tolls. On top of that, I had to get like one of those uh, toll tag stickers for my window. So I can go through the tolls now. And if I go over a certain amount, it automatically pulls out of my account. But those tickets and fines, it's just not worth it, man. So don't be cheap trying to find a place to park. Cause some people pull up and they'll park at one of the restaurants or something and then they'll try to act like they're a customer and then walk across the street to the beach and then when they come back their car is gone now they got to pay five or six hundred dollars just to get their car out the in town so it's not really worth it man but anyway i'm finna end this off and make this trip back to h-town man i'll see you guys in the next video